There's a lot of reasons why people may get towed. Some people are very confused. They read the signs. Sometimes they just interpret it wrong. I was really confused, actually. We walked up the street, and I was like, I did park here, didn't I? So now I have to pay over 100 some dollars for a car that got towed for no reason. Oh, I wish I could blame myself, but it's all your fault. Oh, yeah, I need to go to my car, actually. You know, I think I found this amusing, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell you find this amusing. I was sent to either one of these windows because I need to get my license and stuff out of my car, along with my money to pay for my car. What's the license plate number? BTA. The man over there told me my total and everything. My money's just in my car. I don't see anything. I don't know where your car is until I find your people. I and someone can see my car. No. I like how she knows what she's doing in her job. Say your record on hold somewhere. It can't be on hold. It just happened an hour ago. Well, that's what it's saying. Well, that's not my fault. This is when we give them attitude, when they don't know how to do their jobs. You found her paperwork. Do you have your registration and insurance with you? It's in my car. That's why I'm in this line. She told me a lot. Everything is in my car. So you guys need to get your license? Yes. All in my trunk, in my purse. Make this happen again and someone will walk you to the car. Aye, aye, Captain. They should take pictures to prove to me that I parked illegally. And if I did, it would be completely and utterly accidental. And I can't find my insurance card. This is lovely. Uh-oh. It says it expired three days ago. My car is insured in Wildwood, but I go to school down here. So I can, I'm not driving to Wildwood to get another insurance card. So what I need to do is call my father, because if my car's not insured, I'm screwed. And it's his fault. He doesn't ever pick up the phone. So. They can call Geico, then everything will be fine. There goes my paycheck. I need to call my father again. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Can I help you? Can you by any chance call my insurance? This is my temporary card and it like ended two days ago or something. In order for you to get your car, I need the correct paperwork. And you have to call them and have them faxed over. Why can't they call Geico? It's part of their jobs. They're not doing anything else. Hello? I am I currently am at an impound lot, and they need you to fax a paper stating that I currently do have insurance with you. Otherwise, I can't get my car. So I have to get a hold of someone else to call you and wait on hold again. Even though my name's on the policy, you can't do it because I'm, I'm not one of them. I'm sorry, where does that make sense? Geico told me that because my parents' name are on the policy and I'm only listed as a driver, they can't send information for me. They need to send it for my parents. I thought this was gonna be so much simpler than it was. My car was towed, I should be able to come in, show my ID, pay for it, and leave. And it's not like that at all. I have to go from window to window. Why can't they just do everything at one window? Hello? That would be lovely, yes. Geico's gonna call him? Supposedly, watch, I'll get hung up on him. He's a roofer, so I mean, maybe he doesn't have his phone on the roof, but. I don't know why I won't pick up the phone. Hello? Um, well, she's my stepmother, but I can I can give you her her um, her phone number. Amy? It's Amanda. Um, I'm on the phone with Geico, and they refuse to give me any of my insurance information without your consent. And I can't get a hold of my dad. I called him about 92 times. It would be nice if he would pick up my call sometime. Geico and PPA can can suck some whatever. Um, it just needs to make sure it has my name on it. They said that they'd call me to the window when my thing got faxed. Well, Geico said that it takes up to 20 minutes for it to be faxed. It's been at least 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna wait another 15 minutes. They don't call me to that window. I'm gonna go to the window. That's crazy. Geico, this place, everything is all screwed up. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna tell a lot of important people, people who have something to say about it. I know people who write for papers and stuff. Put on YouTube, for that matter. Hello? That took you like three years to call me back, Dad. I'm at an impound lot and I needed your approval to prove that I had insurance. You gave me a temporary insurance card, Dad. It expired five days ago. All right, call you later. He's like, that's what I get for going to work. I was on the roof, I couldn't answer the phone. Where'd you go? You disappeared. Me? Yeah. I had to wait for them to fax you guys my insurance card, wow. so I need to see if you have that. Robert and Amy? All right, let's
let's get you home. Here goes your receipt. Thanks. It's the worst experience I've had. Out of 10, I got a negative four. I'm gonna go out to dinner and I'm gonna have a nice time and try to find some important people to tell about this. Mm -hmm.